Okay. Now look at the very simple expression. We have sum of squares total, which is equal to sum of squares regression. plus sum of squares residual. Okay. Have you studied ANOVA any time? This is very much an ANOVA statement, right? This is very much an ANOVA model. Sum of squares total is equal to sum of squares between plus sum of squares within, right? It's very much an ANOVA model. Right? So, what is my sum of squares total summation? i is equal to 1 to n, uh, y minus y bar bracket square. This is the actual deviation in y, sum of squares of the actual deviations. Regression is semi, semi, sum of uh, sigma i is equal to 1 to n, y prime minus y bar bracket square, right? And residual is summation i is equal to 1 to n uh, y minus y prime bracket square, right? Which I can generally write as sum of squares total is equal to sum of squares regression plus sum of squares residual, right? And so, what I need to do is identify the degrees of freedom associated with them, identify the degrees of freedom associated with them, and so the df associated with sum of squares total is n minus 1, so the degrees of freedom for this problem is n minus 1. This is k, degrees of freedom associated with regression are k, and degrees of freedom uh, uh, associated with residual is n minus k minus 1. So in our case, n is 10, right? 10 minus 1 would be the degrees of freedom associated with sum of squares total. K is number of predictors which we have in the model is 1, conscientiousness, and this is equal to 10 minus 1 minus 1. So 9 is equal to 1 plus 8. So degrees of freedom associated with sum of squares residual is 8 that is n minus k minus 1, degrees of freedom associated with regression is 1, total degrees of freedom is 9, okay. For your fancy, you can also uh, add up uh, the sum of squares residual and sum of squares uh, regression and check if they are adding up to 260, right. So, uh, 7 plus whatever, this, this, would, this would then be 3. So, 7 plus 3 is 0. Yes, it does. Uh, so, these so two points, should add up to 260. Somewhere, like a yeah. point here and there. Yeah, so, that's rounding here. Ah. It's a rounding here, right? So, we have got up to here. Any any question up till here? Right? So, sum of squares total is equal to sum of squares regression residual, which is actually for us is 260 is equal to uh, 197. 0.623 plus 62.37. Uh, so if we add this, would be 260 uh, with some rounding error. Okay. So yeah. So this is what uh, basic idea is. Now, if this is the uh, if if this is what the split of sum of squares are, then I can actually carry out ANOVA, right? So I can carry out the F test. So what I can do is I can say that uh, source and 
and the sources are regression, residual, and total. Okay. Sum of squares. Sum of squares regression is 197.623. Sum of squares residual is 62.37 Degrees of freedom Degrees of freedom are For regression degrees of freedom are 1 For residual degrees of freedom are 10 minus 1 minus 1 That is n minus k minus 1 Which is 8 The total degrees of sum of squares total is equal to 260 the total degrees of freedom are 9. So, we want uh, uh, what we call uh, MSE or MS mean square area. Okay? So, that would be sum of squares divided by respective degrees of freedom. Okay? So, sum of squares 197.623 divided by 1 is 197.623 uh, 62.37 divided by 8 this would be 62.37 divided by 8 right and this is 7.796 7 And we compute f. f is equal to uh, MSE regression upon MSE residual, okay, which is one ninety seven point six two three one ninety seven point six two three divided by. 7.796 which is equal to 25.35 now this f we will look at two degrees of freedom numerator and denominator so numerator's degree of freedom is 1 denominator's degree of freedom is 8 so we need to know the f value uh, for numerator and so uh, at uh, so from the table or from R code, I can get this F value. I usually need a R code uh, like QF at 0 0.05. Okay, so this R code would provide me the critical value. Okay, now this critical value is uh, F of. Is this visible? This part? Or should no. I? No. Okay. Uh, so I know that. F is equal to 5.317 F is equal to 5.317 right 317 yeah 317 318 which has a probability of 0 0.05 F at 1 and 8 so F at degrees of freedom 1 and 8 has to be 5.317, which is a probability of 0 0.05. Now, the obtained value of F, that is 25.35, is quite larger than uh, 5.317. Uh, generally, we know that uh, we can plot F distribution uh, like this, I'm not plotting it with no space on the uh, board. But uh, as the f value will increase, and uh, for the f distribution at one and eight degrees of freedom, then the chance of obtaining 25.35 reduces. So uh, it, uh, the the probability will be smaller than 0 0.05. So I can say that probability uh, f 1 and 8 is equal to 25.35 has a probability smaller than 0 0.05. Right? 
So this f value has a probability smaller than 0 0.05, which means that if I would have, uh, if if my null hypothesis is true, that is if beta is equal to zero, then the chance of observing this f is very 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 low. So perhaps this f or the uh, b that I have observed in my data, this b does not come from a population that is beta 0, it probably comes from some other population which does not have beta is equal to 0. And so I reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative that beta is not equal to 0. Right?